$17 billion, $17 billion before 2021, before 2020 rather, on vaccine platforms. $13 billion from Operation Warp Speed. All of this money came through Moderna and other big pharma companies that were going to be making the vaccines. And what did they do with it? They privatized it. They kept it to the They We as the CEOs, we as the rich shareholders, we come first. So instead of joining the people's vaccine way last May, they decided, no, we're going to keep them for ourselves. No, we're going to keep the profits. We could have been in a world where the intellectual property rights were waived, where they would actually transfer the technology. They would have joined the WHO uh, COVID-19 Technology Access Pool. And we would have production capacity today. But did they? No. no. Have they promised to do so? No. Have they said that they won't do it? Yes. We're here to demand that they do, in fact, share their technology. Right. That it be shared with multiple producers in every region of the world. Share your recipe. It's not yours. It's ours. Woo! Right. Now, this is a company, unfortunately, that has decided to prioritize profiteering. And I want to talk about that profiteering at least for a couple minutes. They have chosen a policy of false scarcity yes. in order to That's maximize right. their profits. Yeah. 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 We are going to control every square inch of production capacity within our own company. We're going to select a few contract manufacturers. We're going to repurpose a manufacturing plant that used to make Polaroid equipment. And we're going to make this vaccine for ourselves. And then who are they going to sell it to? They have decided to sell only to rich countries. 95 plus percent of every dose that's going to be produced in 2021 is going to be sold to the US, the UK, Europe, and other rich countries. They are covering their rear ends with a promise to talk with COVAX, the joint to talk about. But they haven't committed anything, and they're likely to commit only symbolic quantities. We can't rely on their donations or low price sales of a few million doses to go there. We need the recipe to be shared. So what is it charging for its medicine? Well, its highest price that we know of, though it's likely to go higher, is $37 per dose. Since you need two of them, that's $74 for a course of treatment. How many people in poor countries can afford $75 for a vaccine? Yeah. How much does this vaccine cost to produce? Pennies. Uh, which is pennies? It's likely to be 200 pennies. Okay. It is pennies. We can sell for 200, we can still talk <laughs> about pennies. In the AIDS, we, just, we used to have a chant, uh, pills cost pennies, free cost lives. Let's right. chant that for a minute. Pills cost, cost pennies. Greed costs lives. Pills cost pennies. Greed costs lives. Pills cost pennies. Greed costs lives. So, the threat is trying to cover its rear end with false promises that it's going to share its technology. It gave a promise we're not going to force it or patent. Well, I'm an intellectual property specialist. I know that sharing their patents is not enough. We need their know-how. We need their recipe. We need all the resources that they have at hand that they developed over the last year with taxpayer money to be shared openly with people everywhere in the world. Now we heard a lot about the suffering that this vaccine apartheid has accomplished, what it is doing in the world. And it is a congruence of corporate greed and rampant nationalism. We live in a rich country that thinks it can buy its way to the front of the line and the rest of the world can wait. We have a president who's been in office 100 days today, tomorrow, who has not yet signed on to a waiver, which makes perfect sense. It says if these companies won't give up their intellectual property voluntarily, we have to make them give it up. We have to say to them, either you come to the table and you share your technology, or we are going to take it from you. Right. There is not one reason for President
could have gone to wait one more minute before he says publicly, he could do it tonight at his speech. We are going to join the trip waiver proposal. We are going to tell the drug companies that they can no longer engage in vaccine apartheid by keeping the control over supply, not enough. Over price, too high. Over distribution, poor people can wait and die. We have to join hands with our brothers and sisters every corner of the world and say, your life matter just as our life matter. We will make our company, we will make our government work on your behalf. We will not let our government say to us, we can vaccinate people in the U.S. and we will be safe but our brothers and sisters will die. Will die. We do not tell, let them tell us that lie because we are not safe if our brothers and sisters are not safe. I have two shots of Moderna in my heart, but I'm not safe. I'm not safe until everyone is vaccinated. That's right. So yeah. Moderna, shame on you. Moderna, shame on you. Woo!